sheep a year on that Friday and Saturday when it was snowing. They were like covered in a good two inch, three inch of frozen snow and ice. And they were just that weighed down with being in lamb. A lot of them were trying to get home for safety and they were blown over. And sites like that, it's a constant knock on. But with, with farmers, with fell farmers, you've got to learn to blank it out. You've just got to keep going. We're trying our best for them that are alive to keep them to as good a confirmation, as class as we possibly can to keep them going for replacement sheep. The situation's also been bad in Scotland and the Scottish Government has made some money available for farmers. Do you, do you think that DEFRA should do the same? I don't want compensation because it was an act of God. It's one of them things, living in a fell farm, you expect kind of disasters like this where you get freak acts of God, like this snow blizzard. It's just the fact of that expecting us to clear every carcass up, pay the 12, 15 pound incineration costs. A lot of the sheep where they're at, it's impossible to get to them with a bike. We have a group of sheep at one place, there'll be 25 to 30 sheep all dead in a group. I can't physically get there with a tractor or trailer to pick all them sheep up. The foxes are cleaning them up now, eating away. Are we expected to gather the skins and bones up? If you were allowed an on-farm burial site where we put on a map where they're buried, I would be happy with that. So we could just put the remains in, what we gather up. I'm frightened now that because the foxes are living that much on the meat, if we did clear everything up, they would turn on the lambs and go with a lot of lambs, which I know it's illegal to leave dead stock lying around, but I would like just maybe a bit of leniency on that side of it, and then we could clear the carcasses up afterwards once the lambs get strong enough to be able to get away from the foxes because our crop's going to be down a heck of a lot. What sheep we have lost, they were hardly, what, 98% were in lamb. Therefore it's our harvest for this autumn that's gone and I'm trying my best to keep what we are getting alive. So it's, I'm not looking for compen because it's an act of God. Uh, I would just like to know how we stand because I don't want 12 months time defer to land in, look at my paperwork and say right where's them 100 sheep missing off your farms, why weren't they incinerated and then they turn around and say right we'll take 5, 10%, 20% whatever off your single farm payment as a penalty. I'd, I would just like to be more clear on how things stand, are they wanting us definitely to get all these sheep picked up now and incinerated now or would they be lenient on us and let us leave some lying around which isn't nice, it isn't nice for the general public see it isn't nice for us but the wildlife has got a taste of this meat and they're not going to stop. The vixens are going to be having the young just now therefore they're going to be wanting more to produce milk for themselves and they've got the taste of meat and we had a bad time last spring with foxes going with lambs and at the moment touch wood they're managing on what's lying around but we can't get to them because of drifts. I am travelling places now with the quad bike where you shouldn't be but it's a matter of getting to sheep to get some feed and energy into them. And this happened two weeks ago but the impact of it is obviously going to be felt for many more weeks, months and possibly years. Well it hit the worst time of year. If it had been January sheep wouldn't have been as heavy in lamb, it's because it's hit right on lambing time. My father has known it to land in the middle of April, not to this amount, but he has known it and it's hard work. But yeah, there's going to be a knock on comes to the autumn sales and through the winter. We're not going to have the same crop of lambs to sell. We usually sell a lot of breeding ewes, and well, at the moment, I'm working on a hundred yows down at the moment, which. I still need to sell yows, but I'm going to be down on my own stocking sheep 
and it's the heftiness on the fell. I've lost that amount of sheep, the part were all sheep that would be going to the fell this summer. So there's going to be a gap on the fell where sheep are going to lose their own heftiness because they're going to move on because there's going to be fresher parts. And it's the whole knock on, it happened after foot and mouth with the heftiness on the fells that sheep got as they just moved on to where it was fresher instead of the basic instinct of the heftiness. But we'll get through it because we're fell farmers, we're, we're a tough breed but when things get greener, days hopefully get warmer and the snow goes, we get rid of these carcasses then things, yeah, should brighten up. We'll know more when it gets into summer how 